What's up? Anybody need a shout out like I gave last week <laughs> to help your cause? <laughs> Nobody? Okay, cool. Did you get hung out to dry in one of the I did, I did, yeah. Yeah, they had some fun with it. It was fun. <laughs> Obviously, this is a big week for a lot of the young guys on the roster. What are some of the key evaluating things that you're looking at specifically with some of the young guys, whether it be O line or receiver, that gives them a good chance to make the team? Uh, the number one is just to see how fast they can play now with the plan that we've been practicing the last couple days. Uh, they got a lot of reps under their belt. Uh, just putting those guys in situations where they can play fast. Um, again, you're going to face a different style of defense each and every week. Um, so with uh, these guys, they're just they're hungry and they're ready to rock. This is The preparation's been awesome. They've had extra meeting time this, this week. Uh, we repped a lot towards the back end of practice as well, so we're hoping they fly around. You want those guys moving around uh, during that week. Uh, you want to keep their bodies and their minds engaged to it. Um, as far as the preparation, just give them a sprinkle of the game plan and what's we're, what we're looking at in the base downs, basically. And uh, just don't overwhelm them because, uh, you know, you put a game plan in two weeks prior and things change. So you don't want to ha have that happen. So the goal is to get these guys just ingrained in football during that bye week, rest their bodies, um, and then get them out here and wiggling around a little bit. What's the alert during Tell you what, for um, as short hit as he is, and we make fun of him all the time, his ability to get that ball across the line of scrimmage with the angles that he creates is, is remarkable, and it's it's really um, it's something you can't coach, and uh, it it's it puts defenses in a bind because if he gives them a, a six inch hole, he's going to throw that thing in there, and um, just tight tight windows down there, and he's able to put it in there. Uh, but as far as schemes, a lot of the schemes down there. You know, the most successful play down there is a scramble drill, like I told you. It's it's something that he's very used to. And he's got his old – he knows exactly what's on the backside of a progression that he can work to eventually. But it's, it's really remarkable to see what type of arm angles he can come up with. What did Albert show Saturday playing the entire game? And what do you want to see from him this week? I think that whole room, but Albert in specifically, like he had a great catch down the sideline. He did a great job of just tracking that ball on the back shoulder. He missed one in the end zone earlier in the game. He adjusted his route and was able to be a successful explosive play. Um, just continuing to work our scheme with those guys. We ask a lot of those those guys in, in that room just in the protection, the run game, the pass game. Um, but Albert has, has been doing a really good job as far as just taking strides in each area. Um, but I'm excited to see him roll on Saturday too. What area do you want to see Josh or Brett separate themselves from one another this week to get that backup job? I think it's important to flip the script on them. You know, having, you know, Rip started out and then Josh on the back end. It's important for those guys to really understand a different mindset of the game and how they handle it and how they handle the huddle and their, and their presentation to the in the huddle itself and just the communication aspect of it. So it's important to you know move those guys around and, and just continue to evaluate. We've been evaluating them all week, and it's, it's, um, it's something that's going to be an ongoing process up until the game. Coach said that KJ was going to get in a few snaps in the game. Do you want to get him a pass as part of that, kind of if nothing else mentally? get that confidence before you would play in a real game? No doubt. You want to get him started. You want to get his confidence back. You know, he's been in a uh, controlled setting for this whole time. And he's eager, man. He is. He's, re he's revving to go. He's excited. Uh, we're excited to see him back there inside the white lines. So we, we saw Pat's 10 during the two-minute drill kind of a race of pass with this full extension dive. What's just been your, from your kind of offensive coordinator perspective, what he's done uh, in training? He's a center fielder out there. He's, he plays the grass very well. He's got good vision of the quarterback all the way back there. He's anticipating things. Um, he'll bait people, and he'll play one side of the field, and he'll go all the way across to the other side of the field. And he's got the ability to do that with his athleticism. So he, he's been a really good test for us on the back end, and I'm glad he's on our team. Time for a couple more. saw uh, Billy Turner return this week to practice. How did he look, and what kind of boost did he give to the offensive line? Uh, you know, with the uh, situation he's been in, you're going to get some rust. Uh, he's been knocking it off in Indy. Uh, he got a couple uh, group period um, plays that, you know, he's, he's just getting in his rhythm. He's finding his rhythm again. And, you know, with a veteran like Billy, who's extremely positive, played a lot of ball games, seen a lot, 
Um, he's just been a voice in that room. And I joined the offensive line this morning and just kind of felt his good vibes. That's what he does. He brings really good vibes to that room and throughout the team, not just the offensive line. With Brent, since he hasn't played a ton of regular season football, how much does that change the opinion when you determine, is he ready to be the backup for this team? Well, just, again, it's, it's the live bullets getting thrown at him um, in the beginning of the game and just the whole aspect of understanding the play call uh, communicating to that offense and just making sure that he uh, goes through his progressions and puts us in the right spots. Well, that's a great part about what he's been doing so far. He's mentally been engaged the whole time. It's just getting his body and, and the techniques. That's the acclimation that we got to be uh, patient with. But he's been a do doing a really good job in between the years. Yep. Thank you. Thanks, guys.